I, I, I taught uh, sexual harassment for 26 years. And um, I, you, I would say to my students that chances are if you are, um, if you reach it, you, you reach into the, your uh, 50s and 60s, you're going to have, you're, there's a good chance that you will have experienced sexual harassment. And that's true, right? But statistically, of course, it doesn't always happen, but it's statistically, it's true. And I have experienced sexual harassment. And in fact, in my last job, which is at a law school, I experienced racial and sexual harassment. Um, and what do you do? Well, you almost, you try never to experience that by yourself because it's too isolating and damaging. You have to bring people in to help you with it and to advocate for you because it will drive you, you know, mad. And I mean, angry, right? If you experience that and nobody's doing anything about it, you've got to do something about it and it will make your life miserable but so many women experience it, way more women than men, and they don't have the resources to do anything about it. And they just have to put, you know, just um, um, do it. They've got kids to feed. These are jobs that they can't afford to quit. And so I think it's a ser I think sexual harassment and discrimination is a serious barrier to enjoying what you're, what you're meant to enjoy, which is your career. Um, and I think that, um, when you experience those things, try not to do it on your own. Try to bring in some allies to strategize and brainstorm or have, about how to do it. That, that leads me to my next question with whether or not there's a young female lawyer going through these things. How do you find the right mentor? How do you know? What are you looking for? And in a situation like you've described, how do you, how do you know who you can turn to? I'll start with you, Dean Young, just, just because I. <laughs> um, well, again, it's kind of it's kind of personal preference. If you you know some some people don't seek out mentors and they do beautifully, right? 